What's up everyone, this is Cybernad, and today I'm going to open up two boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Fusion for you guys. So yeah, this is the newest set that has been released, and I got two more boxes, so I was thinking, well, let's just upload both of them together into one video. So, yeah, let's see what we get. Maybe we'll have good luck getting Thunder Dragons, or there's also the new Danger cards, as well as new Galaxy cards, which is still what I'm after, and uh, same with Noble Knights. Those are probably two archetypes I'm after, but, you know, I wouldn't complain if a couple of, uh, of those Thunder Dragons just happened to appear. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be too bad of a day, I'm just saying, you know, especially the Fusions. <laughs> but yeah, let me know how you guys have done with this set as well, if you had some good luck, or or what cards you're after. Because I know a lot of people are after Thunder Dragons, but I know a lot of you out there are kind of like me, where you're looking for other things too. Like, like I said, I'm looking for the Galaxy cards and Noble Knights, probably more than just about anything else. Let's see. Also, I got both these from Bing Collectibles, and be sure to like this video, and subscribe, and ring that bell to help support the channel. Well, we have a second expedition into danger, not bad, and the Gravekeeper fusion. Which one is this? Gravekeeper is a supernaturalist. But yeah, since this is a double unboxing, let's see if we can get to 800 likes. I feel like that's a pretty good challenge. I know you guys can do it, though. And also, I'm not going to name over every card because I don't want this to be too long of a video. So, whoa. Oh, man, I thought it was Galaxy, but that's still really good. Uh, Orchestron, I guess they say that. Well, that's actually a really good card to get, too. The Orcus cards are good. It's just, I, I, I don't know. I just saw it was Lake Monster and Ultra. I thought it was a Galaxy. Either way, still great to get, though, too. It's actually a pretty interesting archetype. Like, I've heard good things about them. One of the Invocations. That's kind of cool to get more of those already. I can't wait to get their Ritual, though. They're actually getting a Ritual Monster in uh, Savage Strike, So which is the next set. There we go. Let's leave that up. Alright, Gabe Dragon, Dino Wrestler, oh, there's the good Dino Wrestler on that, and then Extra Foolish Burial. Yeah, that's the, the common one, the Triceratops, basically. That's the one you want to get. It doesn't seem to be too tough to get. And he's good in other decks, too, besides Dino Wrestlers. I mentioned that last time, but just in case people are wondering. Uh, we have Mr. Uh, Holder. Pretty cool, and then there's the Orchest uh, Field Spell. Purplish Armageddon, there you go. <laughs> Finally got that card. Still kind of wish it was a hollow, but yeah, at least we got it, so. If they ever do some kind of promo pack thing, though, I'd like to get a, at least an Ultra of it. It just look cool. I just like the card. And Danger Mothman, Token Collector. There we are. Down at wrestling. And we got one of the danger cards. Oh, this is the, yeah, Thunderbird. Danger Thunderbird is its name. Yeah, this was, I think, the first one that was revealed. So that is really cool. We actually got one of the secret rares. I think they also, yeah, the snake is also a secret rare too. So yeah, they're going to make sure the danger cards are going to be a little tough to get. But I can't wait to see future support for them, especially like at Savage Strike. I assume they're getting more support. And I wonder if eventually they're going to be able to be kind of by themselves, like a pure deck, instead of having to use uh, Dark Worlds and stuff. Still, uh, danger cards are so cool, and I love this way this card looks, too. And also, we have our Fright Fur Patchwork, as well. That's a good secret rare to get. It's one of the secret rares I was wanting, as well, because I do want to get the danger cards. Oh, there. I pick up one of the sleeves. Here, I'm do it like this. It's a little bit easier for me, instead of showing on camera. There. I use clear sleeves for a lot of these, you know, whenever I'm organizing and stuff. All right, there we go. Almost dropped the cards, too. Well, we got Genghis. That's kind of cool. And Herald of the Abyss. There's one of the uh, Orcus. There. Secret got me so excited, I'm, like, trying to drop cards now. <laughs> Evidently, that's what's going on. And there's another Ultra Rare that I need. This one is Heritage of the Chalice. This card is awesome. It's a really good searcher for them, basically. And uh, it's a three of for Noble Knights. I mean, this is instantly, like, one of the best cards we've gotten for Noble Knights. So, yeah, definitely need uh, a few more of those. Could use a playset. That and the Hand Trap, basically, are the ones you want to get playsets of. Which, unfortunately, they're both Ultra Rares. So, yeah. 
least they look cool as hollows, but they're going to be a little tougher to, to hunt down. I don't think they're that pricey, which is good. But Noble Knights really did get some good support. Finally. <laughs> then also we have uh, Galati, the Orcus Automaton. Took Noble Knights a little while, but now they're starting to really... Like, Konami actually cares about them now. Interesting. And everybody loves their Link Monster. <laughs> Some Summer Summoner. There's the egg, basically, for Thunder Dragons. Yeah, I think Goki's kind of like Noble Knight's Link Monster, even more than Noble Knight's. <laughs> Man, I really hope that I can get a soul banned or something for all the craziness going on. Have a uh, Sky Striker Maneuver Vector Blast. And then also a Clock Spar Toy. It's pretty cool. Cyber's uh, Link Monster. And there we are. Some of the inset cards. And then we have Noble Knight uh, Ivan. I don't know how you say the name of that one, unfortunately. That is one, like I said, I'm going to have to make sure I pronounce it correctly when we do the net profile because I believe, yeah, I'm using a few of those in my build too. I've been doing some testing. It's not finalized yet. I want to make sure I have everything good for you guys. Have another one of Orcus Automaton, Clock Wyvern. That's a really cool looking card. Of course, man, Savage Strike, she becomes a, a robot again, basically. Or even more of a robot. Uh, extra Foolish Burial. Goki Pole. Yeah, she has like scissor arms on one hand or like a claw. It, it's just, I really wonder what's going on with the story. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. They need to make a book or some kind of anime about it or something. That'd be so cool. And Danger Dog Man. As well as another one of Grave Keepers. But I would definitely watch that if that was a show. Where are the implications? And, oh, there we go. Okay, my friend's going to be upset with me because it's the one he wanted. We actually got the other danger, though. The danger snake, basically. Danger uh, Suchinoko, I believe is how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's uh, a snake, I think, in Japan. I I'm trying to learn more about these cryptids because of all this stuff. Uh, the main ones I knew were in the first set. You know, Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot. Yeah, <laughs> those are the obvious ones. But, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a snake that's supposed to be really, like, flat as well. I think it's what Dunspars from Pokemon is based off, if I'm not mistaken. So that is really cool. And like I said, too, I know one of my friends really wanted this card as well. I don't know if I'm trading it to him, though. Sorry. If you're watching this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I really like this card, too. That is awesome. That's a really good secret to get. That's kind of fun to get both the danger secrets, though. Works out pretty well. Here. Got a sleeve for the snake. There we go. Yeah, we have like two danger cards in the set that have kind of become memes. So we have the snake and then also uh, Mothman, obviously, because, well, <laughs> that was going on before it, really. Some Summer Summoner, Token Collector. Kind of like saying that card's name now. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. It's not too much of a tongue twister anymore for me. Simon Great. And uh, we have the uh, the polymerization for Thunder Dragons, basically. It is Thunder Dragon Fusion. That's pretty cool. We got one of those out of my first box, too. It looks awesome. I love the artwork for it. Just basically polymerization for them. That one, the Gravekeepers, didn't got this one yet. This one is Headman. Interesting name. All right. I think from this box now, we're only missing an Ultra Rare. So, Galtias. Or Noble Knights, please. There's Ultra Rares need from both of those. Uh, Mr. Colder. Another one of Patchwork. Yeah, I need a Galaxy Eyes Flare as well as, well, both the Ultra Rares for Noble Knights. Danger Mothman. The Salmon Great. He's pretty cool looking. Salmon Greats are kind of tempting to build. I don't know. I'm not promising anything with them, but they do look fun. World Wand, and Herald of the Abyss, and also Clock Wyvern. 
only a few packs left. Come on, turn to the cards. Another Salmon Great. Thunder Dragon and uh, Dragon Duo. That's the easiest one to get. Also, there's this card. I think he's like a short print. This one, uh, two for one team. I haven't seen too many of those. I like the artwork, though. It just looks funny. It must be a short print. And, oh, yeah, we we got another one. I was kind of wondering about that when I saw it. And, well, we got the fusion card, too, that happened on the first box. So we have uh, Thunder Dragon Dart. See, so yeah, that's another one, the Dark Thunder Dragon. Of course, uh, yeah, Thunder Dragons have some higher rarities, but we're getting closer. Again, if I happen to get everything, I would love to build them. And sign it Fusion. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. It's just those fusions I know that are going to be uh, interesting to get. <laughs> Put it that way. I knew there'd be a few secret rares with Thunder Dragons, though. That really did not surprise me. And last pack. Okay, um, I think we got everything. Well, let's see. Let's get that. Third secret rare. <laughs> the Legend. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And Fulgo. Justice for Hire. Not bad, either. I think that gives me a play set of those. And let's get to our other box. Hopefully we'll have some good luck on that too. I mean, so far I've had some pretty good luck with this set and uh, and getting secret rares. So let's continue that. That's <laughs> basically what I'm saying. I want to try to get the fusions though, like I said, because those are the ones that are really tough to get and uh, pretty pricey actually too. Oh, starting off with the Dino Wrestler. That's the good Dino Wrestler you want to get. And already getting an Ultra Rare. First pack. Okay. Cyverse Clock Dragon. Now that's pretty cool looking as well. We got one of those from Sync Preview. And it's a really cool cover card. The only thing is, I wish it was a Ghost Rare for us. Or a Holograph Rare or whatever, like in Japan. Because I have one as a Ghost Rare. It looks so cool. Because I'd love to be able to, you know, actually use it. <laughs> and of course, they also have as an Ultimate Rare. I think I have an Ultimate Rare one as well. Need to check. I, I've been trying to collect a lot of the Japanese cards because they still have Ultimate Rares for main cards like this. And also uh, Ghost Rare. So you gotta, you gotta get them. Alright, Salmon Great. Dino Wrestler. And we have a second Expedition into Danger. Then also uh, one of Thunder Dragon cards. Uh, Thunder Dragon's 100 Thunders. Kind of weird to say. <laughs> Not say that. Let's see. Ah. I cut my finger a little bit. It wasn't from the knife, though. <laughs> it was actually a paper cut from the box. Make sure I'm not bleeding. And Fulgo, another one of those. And uh, Toll Hike. Yeah, I don't really want to bleed on the cards, you know? <laughs> At least it won the knife. I'm terrible. Uh, you guys have seen how crazy I am with the knives on this. And uh, so far, doing pretty good. I just jinxed myself. I'm going to cut off my hand next. <laughs> Hopefully not. Let's see. Necker Valley Throne. Then Thunder Dragon. All right, come on. What secret are we getting from this one? I'm excited to, to see what we can get. Oh, and we got another one. Okay, I thought it said Danger. We have Danger Thunderbird. So already a double on that. Again, I'm fine with that. That's cool. It's a good card, too. So, yeah, I think it's one of the pricier ones as well. And, again, it just looks cool. I like the colors they went with on it. Then also Clock Spar Toy. Another one of those. That looks really good. Where's... The Danger cards have had some really good artwork, too. Kind of like with Noble Knights. I feel like with a lot of the world premieres, they put a little bit more effort into to some of the artworks. I don't know. They look different. In a good way. Dino Wrestlers. And then, of course, Noble Knights, as well as Necro Valley Temple. How are we doing on time and everything? Okay, we're doing pretty good. And, well, there we go. We actually got an Ultra Rare. Oh, man, I, that one threw me off for a second. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, yeah, this is uh, for Dangers. It is Danger Response Team, which looks really cool. I like the guy's face right there, the doctor-looking dude. Looks like from Back to the Future or something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. One of the Orcus as well. Yeah, I forgot about this card being in the set. That one threw me off. Right, and there we are. Let's 
see. Still need the Noble Knights, though. Hoping on this side of the box we get, uh... Well, <laughs> it's gonna take more than that, but we need more, uh, just Noble Knight cards, really. Mothman. I'll say even at that, I think we're supposed to get two more Ultra Rares, and I need three more of the Noble Knight ones. Two more of the Spell, and one more of the Hand Trap one, basically. As long as we get closer to it, I'm fine. Sky Striker Maneuver Vector Blast. Of course, like I said, uh, a Thunder Dragon over there <laughs> would help me out with getting everything. Herald of the Abyss. Return the Slab. <laughs> that does look like that. I, I swear it does. Heard you cowardly dog the, the episode that gave everyone nightmares and still have nightmares about, I think. Let's see. Whoop, Galaxy Brave, you're going to focus. And uh, Thunder Dragon Duo, another one of those. Heat Leo as well. And then a last one on the rat side of the box. Okay. What are we ending with on this side? And we have Longirsu, the Orchest, uh, Orchestrator. So another one of him. It's pretty easy to get. It looks cool, though. Kind of reminds me of Sephiroth or something with that hair. All right, now we're down to the last, I guess, 12 packs. And, oh, man, I thought that was all. What This one should be. Yeah, some Summer Summoner. <laughs> that one threw me out because I saw Link Monster. I was wondering what we had. Uh, stacks in a little bit high. I might have to start stacking them next to it. Noble Knights. Yeah, the Noble Arms. I love that card, too. It looks so cool. And, yeah, we got another one of the Thunder Dragon. Uh, Thunder Dragon Dark. I actually got a playset of these now. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean... Again, I mean, more Thunder Dragons for me is great, so uh, definitely uh, want to try to build them. If I can, I think Griffin is the other, Thunder Dragon Griffin, or is it Bird? It's one or the other, I forget its full name. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's also an Ultra Rare, so that one might be fun to pick up. And of course, again, the Fusion Monsters are no expensive, they're the expensive cards of the set. But at least getting the Effect Monster, that's really good. I love the way it looks, too. It just looks so cool. I want to get the playmat that I saw uh, with it on the front. I forget if it's like the... It's so a YCS play mat or something. Don't remember, but it looks cool. All right, come on. What else can we get? Let's get one of those fusions. Uh, extra foolish burial. Then also a toll hike. Because, like I said, even. If I don't get everything I need for uh, Thunder Dragons anyway, and I get some of those fusions, well, uh, those can help me out with getting the cards I need for Noble Knights and uh, Galaxies, that's for dang sure. <laughs> They're not near as expensive as the fusions. Uh, Mr. Holder, and then another one, Clock Wyvern. So I wouldn't mind that too much. Noble Arms. Oh, okay, make sure it focused. It wasn't focusing for a second. And then another one of Galaxy, the Orcus Automaton. Still think that looks cool, though. Kind of creepy, but it also looks cool. We'll go with that. All right, come on. What's the other secret here? That's, that's just what I keep thinking of the whole time. It's like, okay, what's our other secret here? Oh. Is it? Yeah, here's our secret. Okay, I thought it was. Orchestrated Return. Yeah, this is a card, was it a rare for Japan? I think it was a rare. So yeah, I have a few of these <laughs> from, uh, you know, Japanese ones. But this is really good because it's a draw card that works for the Orcus and World Legacy. I saw some of you guys, too, tell me that uh, you got some of these from your sneak preview and stuff. I saw from, like, the pictures you guys posted. So uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty good card, too. I, I wish, though, it, was it wasn't a secret rare just so it would be easier to get. But I think it's one of the cheaper secret rares, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, looks pretty cool. And again, the story from it is interesting. And then, of course, Patchwork. But yeah, that's actually a, a secret rare I was kind of looking to get. Because I kind of want to build Orcus. I don't know why. Again, one of my friends kind of talked them up and they sound like fun. And I don't think anything's expensive at all for them. But we'll see. I'm not promising anything. I'm just saying. I wouldn't mind trying them out. Necro Valley Throne. They just look so cool. There we are. Okay. Straight attack. Oh, 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, I was hoping. because That's one of the ultra rares I definitely need. It is a Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. So yeah, I have two of these now. I think I have everything for my galaxies now. I think. I need to double check, but we should have that, that uh, deck profile. Blah, getting tongue-tied. We should have that deck profile um, early next week? Something like that? I don't know. Maybe even this weekend. We'll see. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to finally being able to complete this. So that's a card I definitely needed. Oh, I didn't sleeve that other card, did I? No, I didn't. Well, okay. One second. There we go. And then for our orchestrated return. There. Glad I caught that. <laughs> so maybe I won't get a bunch of comments about it. Getting used to doing that, though, now. Where, uh, how to get used to putting the sleeves on like that during the video. Longear Sue. And only a few bags left, which I think we got everything. But, um, let's see. I mean, like I said before, get that, the, the secret, the extra secret, the legendary extra secret here. <laughs> Dogman. Then we'll have the best box ever on YouTube. We'll see. <laughs> All right. And another one of the uh, Noble Knights in Necrofelli Temple. Down to our last pack, yeah. Last pack, okay, what can we end with? Let's see. Okay, Heart of the Cards, help me out here. And Flogo, the Justice for Hire. So yeah, another one of those, still pretty good. As well as Synat Fusion. So yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I feel like both my boxes were actually really good. I mean, with Seekers and everything, not bad. But yeah, I did at least get like the Dark Thunder Dragon as well. So that's really cool. I got like a playset of them. And uh, yeah, let's just flip through everything. Got my Galaxy Eyes, happy about that. Orchestrated Return. Like I said, that's actually a really good trap, or a trap card. <laughs> really good secret rare to get. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just not thinking well. Uh, then also a Thunder Dragon Dark. Like I said, I got a few of those. And yeah, here's another one of the danger cards that we got. Ultra rare. Thunderbird. I actually got two of those, <laughs> which that's pretty awesome. Again, I don't know how many I need, but it's cool to get two. Then, of course, a Cyrus Clock Dragon. Another one of our Dark Thunder Dragon as well. Then even the Polymerization for them. Then, of course, the Suchinoko. That's another one. Like I said, one of my friends definitely wanted that. So that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know if I'm trading that to you, though. Sorry. Sorry if you're watching this video. <laughs> then uh, Noble Knights. Then also our Thunderbird, another one of those. And then even the uh, Orchest uh, Link Monster, which is pretty cool looking, too. It's like an organ or something like that. So it looks neat. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to like this video. Uh, of course, uh, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think about this set and how you've done. I mean, if you've bought a box or even a few packs or whatever, did you get the cards you're looking for? And, again, what cards are you looking for from this set? Because there's a lot of meta cards as well as just a lot of just good cards in general. Honestly, I think this is one of the best sets we've had in a little while. But, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.